And just a terrifying situation for one Nevada County woman. Deputies say that she was kidnapped by an ex-boyfriend but managed to escape. And right now that accused kidnapper is still on the run. Deputies say that she was taken around noontime today at the country store that's in North San Juan. Case Area 3's Melanie Wingo explains why authorities say he should be considered armed and dangerous. A manhunt in full swing in the North San Juan area, keeping Nevada County Sheriff's deputies busy looking for a man they say kidnapped a woman at gunpoint from a general store in town. Alan Sharpentier is on the run from authorities and is considered armed and dangerous. They say he shot out the front windows and door at the country store on Tyler Foot Crossing Road Sunday afternoon. The store closed for business all day Monday after witnesses and staff there say a woman was taken by Sharpentier at gunpoint and he forced her into her vehicle. The suspect also got in the car and took off with the woman inside. A short time later, the victim was found safe at a waste management transfer station in the town of Washington. With several law enforcement agencies working to find Sharpentier, authorities did find the vehicle used in the crime. Inside, firearms they believe were used in the incident. The sheriff's office saying the suspect and the victim are known to each other, having had a previous relationship. As the search for Sharpentier continues, people in town now on the lookout hoping this stays an isolated incident. It's a great place, man. It's a great community, you know, great people up here. Unfortunately, you know, you got also the, the people that are a little off their rocker. My general sense is that most people out here are really community, community oriented and really care about other people living here. In Nevada County, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. And there's this deputies on the ground tell KCRA 3 that they have followed up on several tips about the suspect throughout the day today. The sheriff's office says that he has ties throughout Nevada County.